The acclaimed architecture school at the base of the McDowell Mountains, established by Frank Lloyd Wright himself, is going to be closing for good when the semester ends in June. Three years of architecture school culminates in this final project. We're at Arcosanti on the Mesa. We're right at the edge of a cliff. It's pretty amazing that I get to build here. And Even though the School of Architecture is closing, they're still looking for ways to continue Wright's legacy. It's the first shelter built by students of the School of Architecture founded by Frank Lloyd Wright at Arcosanti. At this school, you get the opportunity to design something and then you see how it uh, is actually built, which can change the way you design in the future. In Arizona, we live in shelters created by uh, students of Frank Lloyd Wright in the past who came to work for him and live with him in the desert, and there was no place for them to live, so they had to create their own housing. And so the desert at Taliesin West is uh, essentially covered in really cool architectural shelters. And that tradition is still going. We have moved to Arcosanti, which is uh, Paulo Solari's creation. And Paulo Solari was a student of Frank Lloyd Wright. My thesis is people should be living in buildings that more closely reflect their organic nature, uh, more curves, more continuous surface. Biopod 01 is meant to be the first in a series. So the shape is freeform, more expressive, um, more playful even. It's a departure from the way we normally design uh, with uh, linear forms and a traditional stick frame. I'm building this structure here sort of uh, as a sculpture in line with Paolo Solari's work, um, but also with certain principles that Frank Lloyd Wright used. Frank Lloyd Wright had a design style that he called compression and release. So the idea is force the user to move their body, maybe making the ceiling only six feet tall as opposed to eight feet, have them sort of feel like they're compressing their body moving through a tight space like a tunnel. And then expand uh, once you get out. When you approach it, you sort of crouch down, but when you step inside, you can expand. You can stand up again, you can almost stand straight. Um, and then when you enter the sleeping pod, you crawl into that space, sort of like a cave. We had a, a volunteer come to help, and he was just leaning against one of the walls, and his comment was, uh, it's so amazing that uh, the surfaces are so curved, you can really just sit anywhere. And I thought, yeah, that really summarizes what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to make a building that is sympathetic to the way that we ourselves are structured, that it just fits right in and we fit right into the building.